Morning folks, I've got a new video for you. I want to show you how to use the new LTX video model inside of Swarm. I'm going to cover text to video and I'm also going to cover image to video. And we're going to touch a little bit on how to set up a preset because they are super helpful, especially for models that have a lot of different parameters and trying to remember everything gets a little difficult. So having a preset will definitely help you out. First thing I want to do is direct your attention to the Swarm documentation page. I'll leave the link for this down below in the description. If you're not sure where to download the model from, there is a Hugging Face link there that shows you where to get the model from. And then you just need to save it in your Stable Diffusion folder. I put mine in a subfolder. You can see here, these are my subfolders set up on the side here. So I have mine in a subfolder called LTXV, and my single model that I have in there is right there. So that's so you can. I can easily find it later. So it tells you also the text encoder and the VEI will automatically be downloaded by Swarm if you don't already have that and those will be set automatically. Um, you can also set them manually if you want but I never, if Swarm already sets something, I leave it set at that because that's usually the best settings for that particular model. Um, if you want you can read through this here, it will tell you some more information on how to do text to video and then also image to video. If you miss something in the video here, you can always refer back to this. Like I said, there will be a link down in the description of the video. Now, this particular video model is pretty picky about the prompt. It wants something very detailed. So a friend of mine created a custom GPT, basically a prompt helper for this particular video model. Uh, there's a few things here as samples, or you can type in your own prompt and then it will help perfect that to create a decent video. So the link for this also will be down in the description. You do not need a paid account to use this. I don't know if there's a limitation on how many times you can use it with having the free account, uh, but I used it quite a bit and I didn't have a problem and I do not have a paid account. So let's jump into Swarm here and let's start getting our settings set up. I have a preset here for LTX. I actually have two. I have one for image to video and I have one for text to video. But for now, we are going to just refer to, we're just going to do the settings manually. So we want to do text to video. So we're going to go ahead and enable that. We already have our model selected here. We selected it. I'm going to preload the model by clicking on load now. So while I'm setting up all my other settings here, that can get loaded into the VRAM. Okay, so we want to have, I'm going to go with 40 steps and then the CFG scale, if you remember from our documentation, was recommended three. So let's set that at three. We've got 40 steps. Now the video frame is basically going to be the length and you want to do about 97. This is a little confusing here. It explains it more in the documentations, but the, the frames needs to be in multiples of eight plus one. So that means if you're going to do, say, uh, 16 frames, it will actually be 17. So here's examples here that Alex provided for us. He's the developer for Swarm. We want this set on 25. So it's 24 plus one. And then these settings here, this is just going to be your preview when you're generating your image. The preview type, you can have it as animate or pick any one of these. I just have it left. The default is animate in the video format. The default is WEBP, I prefer to have MP4, so I'll change that to that. Now you'll notice the resolution on this is pretty much, this is like a proprietary resolution. I don't mess with that. I just leave it as is at one to one, but I'm just gonna turn this off because I want Swarm to manage all that stuff. Everything else should be left at normal. For the negative here, I'm gonna to refer to what Alex put in here in his documentation, which came from Comfy. I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna put this in for the negative. All right, and for a prompt, I just have a prompt here off to the side that I generated with the GPT that I showed you. So I'm just gonna pick one of the ones that I grabbed and I'm gonna paste it in here and we'll hit generate. This is just gonna be a, a beach scene with some waves, you know, a generic prompt. It's not, uh, we've got some text here, but let's bring in the, uh, in the media player and it's like a four second clip. Let's try something else here. This is a battlefield at dawn with knights in shining armor. So let's see what it comes up with here. Not bad. These guys are kind of floating across the ground, but you know what? It's not bad for a quick, free video model that you can run locally. Let me show you one more feature that we have here called Boomerang, and that basically will just let the video play all the way through, and then it'll play back. And let's try like a scenery 
prompt for something like that. Go ahead and generate that. That will be twice as long as what the video was, but it basically just plays in one direction and then plays back at reverse and then we'll stop. So you can see here it's now it's playing in reverse. So let me bring that out here so we can see it. So it's about what eight seconds, but that's just kind of a neat feature that, you know, you might want to use depending on what your video is. Now let's go ahead and do a image to video. And for that, we just need to bring in a video or I'm sorry, a image. And then we're going to click use as initial. Okay. Turn off the text to video. We don't need that anymore because everything's going to be controlled down here. Important when you do the initial image for your image to video, turn this creativity down to zero. Now, none of this is going to be relevant anymore because all of our control is going to be down here in the image to video tab. In the drop down here, we want to make sure that we're on LT. Okay, and then video frames, we're on 25. I'm going to use my preset here to make sure that we have everything set up right. And then, like I said, I'm going to show you how to set these up. So click on the preset, click apply preset, and then that should give us everything what we had in our presets here. So you can see we have the FPS at 24 and then the video frames we had at 97. We're still at 40 steps. CFG scales at three. Minimum CFG is at one. That's the default. Just leave it at that. All this stuff is under your advanced settings. So if you're not seeing that, it's because it's under the advanced settings. I don't really mess with any of that. I would just leave this here how I have it at MP4. I'll turn off these advanced settings so it's not confusing. Video resolution, make sure you have that at model preferred. And then if you don't have the interpolation here, it will ask you to install that. Go ahead and install that real quick, reboot Swarm, and then come back and then just leave this at what the setting is at default. So now we're going to remove the prompt altogether because we're using the image for the prompt, basically. We want to leave in our negative prompt. So all this other stuff doesn't really matter, like I said, because we are using everything from here. So that gets bypassed. We'll hit generate. This is going to be our initial image, even though our aspect ratio now is going to be 16 by 9 it will still use the square image as a reference to generate the video. And I find that the image to video seems to be a little bit quicker. So on my 4090, it takes about 15 seconds here to generate the image to video and then text to video, it's about 24 seconds. So here we go, this is image to video, this has no prompt. So obviously if you wanted to add a prompt to that, you could, uh, but it does a pretty good job for what it is. I mean, it's not bad. We can try this ocean wave here. Again, it should take about 15 seconds here. Make sure you click use initial when you drag in your new image for your next video. So here we go, not bad. Not bad for image to video with no prompt. Again, when you drag in a new image here to use as your image to video, make sure you use as initial so it throws it into here or you can also go choose file and it'll bring up your explorer where you can choose a file. Make sure the creativity is on zero. Go ahead and hit generate. Well, I've gotten better videos out of my tests, but that's not bad. I want to show you real quick how to create a preset. For this particular one, what we're going to do is we're going to just say create new preset, but I'm going to show you to make sure that we have everything. For this, if you want to do subfolders like I have, you need to put that in here. So LT and then put the backslash or forward slash, whatever you call that here. So I'm just going to call it LTX video. And then I want to keep my negative prompt because I'm going to reuse that over and over again. You can use, don't use this image because you can see it's video. It's not going to allow you to save that. So make sure you uncheck that. All these core parameters, you can leave those unchecked. We don't need any of those because we're doing image to video and we're going to set that down below. Same with the resolution, text to video. We don't need any of that because again, this is image to video. So make sure we drop open the image to video here, enable it, pre-select your model and everything that we're gonna need here, we're gonna open and make sure that it's pre-selected. Okay, video steps, video CFG. We don't need the minimum CFG. Those were advanced features. Video preview type, we can leave that on animate. And then for the resolution, Again, make sure you leave that on model preferred because it's a proprietary resolution for that. And the format, you can choose what you prefer. 
you have multiple options here. I'm going to leave it on MP4. That's what I like to use. Again, you don't need to set this. You can leave it on or off. I have my preset on off. So go ahead and click save. Now here's our video preset here. For text to video, create preset. Everything is going to be similar. We'll click negative prompt, enable that. And now here we do want to enable the aspect ratio and the core perimeters. We just want to have one image which is going to be a video, and then our steps in CFG scale. Enable that. Text to video, we want to enable all this stuff that we're going to use. So text to video frames. Enable this. Enable this. You can adjust these settings here to wherever you want to have them. So a preset. The preview type, you can, you know, it's, it's up to you, personal preference, if you want to leave that on or off. Same with the boomerang. If you want to use that all the time, you can preset that. And then the format, I always want to use MP4, so I definitely want to preset that because the default is the WEBP. Sampling is all preset by the by Swarm. I leave this alone because I really don't know what the samplers are that they use for that. Image to video, we don't use that. And then here is where we're going to go down underneath display normally hidden options or the model file. For the video is we want to pre-select that and make sure that we click that enabled. Everything else we don't really need. You can always adjust these settings however you want them. Again for the name if you want to do a subfolder you can name it LTX or whatever you want it to be LTXV slash video sample and then go ahead and click save and then if you look in your presets here if you look in my root directory I have a, a bunch down here but if I go down here to LTXV you can see all the presets that I have and the ones that I just created. So to apply those, you click it like so. You can do direct apply or then I what I usually do is apply preset. And that makes sure it loads the model and all your settings, everything you had. Also, you can see what happens if you already have a prompt in the prompt box. It'll put that in there twice. I believe I clicked it to apply preset three times. So it actually put it in there three times. So make sure that... Um, you double check that. Okay, everything else should be set the same. So again, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Feel free to come by the Swarm Discord. The link is down in the description. Join there. I'm always there and a bunch of other helpful people are there. The Swarm Docs for the video is, there's a link down there in the description and then also a link for the prompt helper. That's in the description as well. So that's all I got for you today, guys. And I appreciate you coming by and checking it out. See you in the next video.